How's it going everyone? So recently I made this JPEG Mafia design using sticky notes. People seem to really like it and were asking me how it was done. So I thought let's make a quick tutorial on it. So to start this off, we're just going to set up a document in Adobe Photoshop. I'm just using 16 by 20, 300 DPI, which is the normal poster size I usually use. I don't want to do the same thing with JPEG Mafia, but I do want to do kind of like a half tone effect on something else. And I thought using maybe one of the Rosalia images from the super cool photo shoot that Jack Bridgeland did. So shout out to him. So I have these three images. I'm gonna see which one works best. I want to do like a full bleed thing. So basically we're just gonna maximize these out. All right, now I'm gonna do a half tone on these. So for this one, I'm gonna go to filter. Make sure you have black and white right here. Filter gallery. Then the half tone pattern. I already had set it up. So it's around eight and 26. That's what I'm gonna be using. You can adjust these right here with the dot pattern. What I'm gonna do is just copy this over to my other images and see which one I like. I think I like this one. Just change the sizing a little bit. Something like that. And let's mess with the curves. Right about there. And then I just wanna throw a little bit of type in. I didn't do that on the last one, but I think it could work cool. Moto Mommy, Rosalia. I think I just wanna place this something like that. You can add some black in too to cover up some of those weird spots right here. Right there's cool. I kind of like how that's looking. So the next step is gonna be setting up the sticky note canvas. So the process is pretty simple. I just use plain white printer paper and I get these multicolored post-its. I got them on Amazon. They only cost a couple dollars. I basically just place them in a grid. I start with the top left one and then just go left to right. In the end, there's usually some leftover kind of sticky note on the side or the bottom and I just trim that with an X-Acto knife. Feel free to use scissors or whatever. Then I load it in the printer and just make sure it doesn't get caught up in the tracks or anything. It's usually worked out fine and I really like how it turns out. From there, I just scan it in, but you can also take a picture, whatever you have, and then you can just bring it into Photoshop. We're just gonna place it in. It looks pretty good already. I think I just wanna mess with the colors a little bit. I'm really liking the texture and everything. I like how this split right there too. And then we'll just size this up so everything fits right in the dimensions we're working in. All right, that looks pretty dope. And then let's just adjust the color a little bit. Give it a little boost. I really like how it turned out. I think the colors are cool and the photos are awesome. Shout out to Jack Bridgeland once again. If you want the source file to this project and a bunch of other cool stuff, you can check out the Patreon linked in the description below. And if you want to learn some more stuff, you can check out this playlist with a bunch of tutorials here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.